Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. I think it could be beneficial to the board and the public as well if we had a discussion surrounding the possibility of waiving the attorney-client privilege when it comes to sharing information with the public that we think they might need to know. Ms. Ogadegbe. Yeah, I would, I would just say that I agree with that. I think that transparency is important, especially as we work to regain trust with the community. Um, again, kind of going back to the, the thought that it is the, the actions that will matter and having a, have a lasting impact. So I, I do agree, and I think these are conversations for us to continue to have to, to balance out the need to make sure that we are being as transparent as possible to be clearly communicating with the community. Additional discussion? Mr. Beatty. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, I, th I think um, when we asked for the uh, sort of our own independent review, uh, last year, you know, I think what came out in the grand jury report, and I think this is how I felt through the process, was that this report in some fashion would be available to the public. And, um, you know, I think if we're going to talk about waiving privilege, I think that might be one of the first areas we would start is what can we share from that report to show this is sort of what we knew at the time. I think the grand jury report um, has a lot more information in it, but I think it's important, again, to, to sort of show what the board knew throughout this whole process so that we can begin to rebuild the trust and we begin to show that. So, you know, I would support that and I hope other board members would also consider trying to make whatever we can of that report available. Additional discussion, Ms. Reeser. Well, I suggested that from the beginning and I would support making whatever we can available from that report. Um, and I would just like to take a moment to thank the members of the grand jury because they spent a lot of time going through a lot of witnesses and a lot of documentation to um, bring information forward that we would have never otherwise had. And um, I feel it's probably safe to say for the rest of you who were on the board, we didn't expect that that would be the case. Did you hear? Ms. Polifka. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. I appreciate the comments and I go back to what Mr. Beatty just said about releasing information related to the internal report. I think that needs to happen and I think we need to have a further discussion about that as a board. I think that needs to happen immediately. I think that the public needs to know exactly what's, what's in that report to the maximum extent possible that we can share and I will continue to advocate for that as one of nine on this board. Additional discussion on recommendation five? Mr. Morse. I do support release of the uh, information in the report. We redacted from all the student information and any other legal concerns. We just want to make sure that whatever we're redacting is minimized. Uh, but other than that, I will 